Viewers and subscribers, so welcome back again. My people, Ndibo, another big multi-million dollar investment of an Igbo man is about to go down in Lagos State. Nigeria has a lot of beach and the, the government haven't developed any of the beaches. Okay, so the private individuals develop this beach, yeah, make yeah. it very beautiful and yes, it's on. Okay. Yeah. Um, we've probably put six billion naira in. Just of developing it to look this nice. Yeah, yeah, and can you imagine the infrastructure you don't see? The water, the power, the sewage, the internet. So, and all that's on the ground and that's in marine conditions and yeah. marine environments. So, you know, there's a six billion naira bill here, you know. It's, over 10 million dollars. Yeah. Um, and the government hasn't, and this is a beach that's, that's one kilometer long. So imagine if you had to do that for the 236 kilometers of Lagos beaches. Um, Entrepreneurs would definitely change the world. We, we get about 20,000 people in, within this ecosystem every single week. 20,000 people visit the landmark every week. We get approximately 20,000 people here every week. Is that excluding of when you have like massive events? Because I know you have an event center that's quite popular. Exclusive events. How much is the ticket in here again? So okay. the ticket it ranges from 2,500. All right. Yeah. You can do the math. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I took a helicopter ride in 2008 and looked around Lagos for a piece of land to buy. I looked at the bustling business district of Victoria Island, looked at the growing sort of residential corridor of Lekki, and I thought to myself from the air, I looked at this area and I thought, what is this? There's an area completely undeveloped. There was nothing here. The roads were not here. None of these buildings were here. We landed the helicopter and I negotiated with the royal family at the time and we reached a landing to buy this land, right? We've sunk over $150 million in here, right? For a, for a start, right? And that includes the land value. Yeah. I would say that we're probably looking at something north of $250 million in enterprise value. Uh, this is the only family-centric entertainment beach in Lagos, full stop. I mean, right? yeah. And um, it's an entertainment center. We get about 20,000 people within this ecosystem every single week. 20,000 people? It's a mixed-use beach. We employ over 2,500 people here, directly. Nigeria has some of the most entrepreneurial people in the world, some of the most hardworking and sincere, some of the happiest people. So, you know, it's a joy to be here. Yeah. I've, look, I've, I've traveled to 69 different countries, and I wouldn't swap this place for anywhere else. I told my people that any investment you are putting out there, outside the Boland, is on a blink. I'm telling you honestly, you are taking the biggest risk of your life. No matter how green that side is, your home will always be your home. I'm telling you, we are just trying to handle that of um, um, Ukachukus and the Wicked Week in Abuja. More is going down everywhere. And I'm not opposed to development. They are trying to transform Lagos into a mega multi-city wonderful at the detriment of you as long as it's an evil man that owns it yes they are building coastal highway and i can tell you there is other ways they could do that without destroying that investment but no because it is an evil man business and investment it must go down it must go down it's a big lesson my own interest is the southeast governors how are you making our homeland a better place for our people to do their business and thrive talking about resort talking about tourism and the rest of them our people are the ones in the bindo. our people likes jolly good fellows our people like to entertain themselves and we are not we are not we are not immune to to suffering alone we only suffer 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 no we also enjoy life why don't this investment come down to southeast but the government what are you doing to improve the ease of doing business of such magnitude in Iboland? that is why when i continue in this campaign a message for good governance beginning with our homeland Ibo land some people misinterpret my position but i thank god alois alex hosti have set the pace and other governors are queuing in in the competition to deliver good governance that is where it starts from and i hope my people will get this message invest outside southeast at your own detriment if you like, take it. If you don't like, take it. If you like, call me ethnic jingoist. That is your business. But when Nigeria happened to you, you will understand the difference between capital L, not Anna. Let me just end it here. What is your take on that? 
share this video open the eyes of our people and don't forget that ggm and myself on this platform we are ready to help you wherever you are around the world to invest in the southeast especially in property or business or agricultural investment which is the most important aspect of our lives we want to partner with you to ensure that we have a better economy and to improve the lives of our people and we are we have trusted hands that will help you do that and achieve your goal call us on the numbers on the screen be part of what ggm is doing and we will not disappoint you ggm is the salvation our people need at the moment what's your take on this share this video drop your comment on the comment section